Hey everyone, Steve from World Start here. Thanks for stopping by and watching my video today. This time around, I want to talk about the Professor Teaches Windows 7 software that we're offering today. First of all, I want to say something real quick. This is probably one of the very best ways to learn Windows 7. Not only is it going to go ahead and show you how things are done, you're going to actually get to play with it yourself and try some of the stuff in the safety of this program. So you're not going to mess up your computer or anything. So let's take a quick look at how this works. The first screen you come up to here is the main interface screen and right here we have our main chapters right in a row here Windows 7 and using the desktop etc etc down here we can pick which version of Windows 7 we're using so that the program can tailor itself to whatever you're using and whatever you expect on your operating system there's a information here on how to use the course next down here we have an index I'm going to click that and you can see all the different topics that are covered here there's just a ton of stuff and you can go through and just click stuff if you're looking for something very specific the other thing I really like is it's got a fantastic glossary so sometimes you're going through this and you hear a term you're not quite sure about for instance let's say the program talks about ActiveX and you don't know what that is just go ahead and click it and it'll go ahead and tell you exactly what ActiveX is really cool now over here we have all of our chapters and we can access the topics in these chapters in two ways the first is just to use these little drop down arrows and we can go ahead and just select something from here what's really handy about this is if you see a solid check mark i'm going to switch here if you see a solid check mark that means you've already gone through that chapter and if you see a clear check mark just an outline of a check mark what that means is you started it but you're not quite done yet and of course if there's no check mark that means you haven't covered that topic yet Okay, so let's click away from that. Let's go to uh, one of these chapters. Let's go to Personalizing Windows 7. And let's go to Customizing the Startup Folder. Now, this is the basic teaching interface of the program. This is actually a simulator for your computer. It's really, really cool. And right here, you see some text. And actually, that's normally read to you. I have it muted for the video, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it on so you can hear. Windows provides a folder called Startup which can contain programs and files that open automatically. Now, it go, it'll go on to explain all the different things here. Now, a couple of things that are really nice. The first is this is very, very good about making sure there's a minimum of technical jargon and it is written in everyday language. These guys do a great job. So that's one thing. Now, the other thing that I think is really cool is that this isn't just some guy reading this little text box here to you this is actually an interactive simulation so what that means is in this case it says click the start button all programs and then click startup now in order to move on to the next thing you see it's blocked out here in order to move on to the next chapter I have to be able to perform this now I'm gonna go ahead and do this wrong though just so you can see what happens because this will actually guide me through I'm gonna go ahead and click computer and you can see it says try again click the start button and it gives me an arrow and kind of guides me along it holds me by the hand so even if I don't know what I'm doing it'll ch point the way for me it'll show me the direction so I'm gonna go ahead and do what it asks click the start button and then we're gonna click all programs and then we'll go ahead and click startup just like it asks and down here you can see that it went on to the next part here now that I completed that and it explains that that's empty etc etc and then it tells me to right click the startup folder and click open so anyhow I would do that and it would go on and on and on but it's nice because it is an interactive simulation and it's really hands-on you will learn by doing so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go back and that pretty much completes our little uh, walk through professor teaches Windows 7 and again, highly recommended. The price we have on this is phenomenal. This is, you know, a $50 program and on sale, a lot of places like 35 and you know, we have it way lower than that. So make sure you grab one. There is a limited quantity on these and once they're gone, they're gone. So uh, make sure you get yours. And thanks so much for stopping by and watching the video today. Have a great day.